Hey friends, Graham here from therecordingrevolution.com and welcome to the $300 Studio Challenge Drum Recording Day. So if you don't know what this challenge is all about, check out the video right there where you can see why I'm using a $300 studio top to bottom and how we're gonna record an entire full band production using gear that only costs 300 bucks total. So again, today I'm using the Personas Audio Box USB for my interface. I'm using a pair of $30 headphones. I'm recording everything with the Samson CO1 condenser microphone. It costs $79. And we are recording everything into my laptop with GarageBand, which is a free piece of software. Could have also used Studio One that comes with the uh, Audio Box USB. So free software and very low cost gear. Now this is probably the hardest part of the entire challenge because drums are just a challenge to record no matter what setup and what gear you have. There's a lot of different tones, there's a lot of different um, timbres, and you need to capture all these pieces together with really good balance and punch and clarity and it takes up a wide frequency range. We have one microphone to use which means we have to experiment with mic placement where we can balance the whole kit with one microphone. We have to kind of compromise some sounds, they may not be as punchy as we want but they have a nice balance with the other parts of the kit. And you also need your drummer to be able to play balanced. If he's hitting too hard on a cymbal, then it's gonna sound unbalanced in the microphone. So sometimes you can coach your drummer to play heavier or lighter on a certain piece of the kit. Now today I'm playing with my good friend Logan Leopold, who's helped me out on drums on a lot of projects before. Super talented guy, so we're grateful to have him playing with us today. The song is called Out of Myself. It's one of my original songs from my EP a year ago. I'm sort of recreating it here inside a garage band with a $79 microphone and a $100 interface. If you take a look at where we place the microphone, we're just over the shell of the kick drum, pointed basically at the side of the snare. And so we're getting a little bit of um, the toms on the sides of the microphone, although that microphone rejects a lot to the side. It is a hypercardioid microphone. Um, but it gets a nice balance of the toms. You still get plenty of hi-hat, and you get a nice wash of the cymbals, but they're not gonna take over, because really with one microphone, you gotta go for kick and snare. And what I liked about this placement was we actually got not only the beater head of the kick drum, but a lot of resonance on the kick drum, believe it or not, above the shell, and that was the hardest part is to get that kick drum right, to get the kick and the snare balance. And again, it's a cardioid mic, so it's pointing in one direction towards the snare, and we're maybe a few inches off the uh, ceiling of the kick drum shell. Now take a listen. We're gonna record a little bit. Logan's gonna play the song. You can watch what he's doing, see where the microphone is, and take a listen to the raw recording uh, with the Samson CO1. Again, this is a $79 microphone going into the AudioBox USB, into um, my MacBook Air on this, this, the internal drive into GarageBand. Now come mix time, we can do a lot with the drums to try to emphasize certain frequencies and de-emphasize certain frequencies to make them a little more studio ready. So take a listen to a bit of a preview of what we can do with some effects to get those drums to pop a little bit more. We'll talk a little bit more about this on the mixing video coming later.
Well, there you have it, recording drums with one microphone in my $300 studio. This is just the beginning, so we're gonna layer the rest of the instruments, we're gonna layer the vocals, percussion, all that kind of stuff, and we still have to mix this thing to really bring out that studio-ready sound all inside the box, all inside a free piece of software, all with a $300 studio setup. Stay tuned for the next video. We're gonna look at bass guitar and some other guitars and start to build out this song all on the same equipment. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to the videos. If you like them, just hit the, the red button up top. And if you want even more great content, subscribe to the mailing list where I'm gonna send you a free ebook, a free video series, and a bunch of other content that doesn't come to you anywhere else. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.